There's been more of this and less of this. And while the federal government has assured one shipment of children's pain medication from the U.S. has arrived in Canada, it won't say how much. Quantities have been established, um, but because of confidential business information, I'm not able to share them. It's confidential how many doses Canadians can expect to receive of a medicine for their children that there's a shortage of? It's the information of those companies that are importing. Federal officials say more details about its newly secured sources of cold and flu remedies from abroad will be made public soon, and another shipment of product from Australia is expected later this month. Health Canada confirms it's aware of price gouging of products like Children's Advil and Tylenol listed for nearly $300 on Amazon and has raised the issue with the retailer. The product listings now seem to have been removed. Another worry for parents, an overrun health care system is leaving long waits for sick children requiring hospital visits across the country. To wait a long hours, it was quite difficult with the kid. In BC, this retired ER physician is with a group calling for an immediate universal mask mandate. To not act is basically facing the system to be overwhelmed and so that when you or your loved one need um, health care, there's going to be nobody in the emergency department to see you in a timely fashion. But BC's health minister says the message hasn't changed. Masks continue to be recommended indoors, but don't expect a mandate. This is a big country. We're seeing a lot higher respiratory illness amongst children right now in Ontario than we're seeing in British Columbia. In Alberta, the message isn't quite as clear. The premier there refusing to answer whether she'd recommend the use of masks. Look, I've, I've said that anybody who wants to wear a mask can feel comfortable wearing a mask. I'm not going to be mandating them. Meanwhile, one of Alberta's biggest school districts in Edmonton is asking the province for clarity on what it would take to issue a mask mandate amid a wave of viral illnesses that's sending thousands of sick students home to their parents who are often unable to provide them any medication. Neetu Garcha, Global News, New Westminster, B.C.